Welcome to OneNote 2013. It too has undergone a revamp, just like the rest of the Office suite, and you'll find that its chosen colour is actually purple. If we click on the file menu, you see our band of purple there, and that gives us the info for the current notebook. Ability to create a new notebook, to open an existing workbook, print sections of the current workbook, share the current workbook, export or parts thereof, and send the current workbook. There is also the standard account option where you can log in to your Windows account and then options that apply only to OneNote. Now the idea behind OneNote is that you have a notebook or a number of notebooks. Here's one notebook I have called Guy's Notebook. It can have multiple sections across the top here. We have one section called Training. We can soon add another section, Recruitment, Return. And within each section, so either recruitment or training at this point, we can have pages. And over on the right, you can see the training section has a summary page, an Excel page, and a Word page. The recruitment page currently has an untitled page, which is this top page. Click about here to add a title, all posts. And you can see that that then becomes a title for the page on the right. We can add another page called untitled. I just click just about here where the title goes and type in this case applications and then i can put all my information on here so you can have more than one notebook we can add another file new tell it where to store that notebook now one of the things you'll notice about OneNote 2013 is that your notebooks can be stored on the SkyDrive. by storing them on the SkyDrive means they're accessible to you on any machine that you're logged into that has OneNote on it or they're accessible to you via the web browser so we go to skydrive.com and log in. And what you'll find are any OneNote notebooks that you've shared to your SkyDrive. And there's mine, Guy's Notebook. If I click that, it will actually open and allow me to edit. The difference here in the layout is that you don't have as many ribbons. But over on the left, we have our section headings, training and recruitment. And within the section headings, we can see the pages that we've added. So all posts and applications. Now you can use the SkyDrive version of your notebook to add content to the notebook and you will see that content in OneNote on your machine and vice versa. They're now synced together. The other advantage to having your OneNote available in SkyDrive is that you can share it with other people and perhaps give them read-only rights. Back to OneNote, we can add things to any of our pages, so the training, Excel, summary, etc. Through a number of means, we could go to the insert ribbon and you can see in here we can insert a table, we can insert a spreadsheet, a file printout, a file attachment, pictures, online pictures, screen clipping, a scanned image, links to various things, meeting details. We can even record audio and video and place that in your OneNote. We can put a date, time or date and time or use a variety of page templates to change what our OneNote looks like. We can insert pretty much anything into a OneNote document. The idea is that it's an organizer and helps to organize you by having this whole notebook idea with lots of sections and pages within each section. We can even draw if we go to the draw ribbon. We can draw using a variety of pen tools. We can even customize those pen tools by using different colors and thicknesses and draw different shapes, a variety of shapes in here to choose from. And then we can manage those shapes by deleting and arrange where they overlap, etc. So there's plenty here for us to be able to put in. Plenty for you to customize. So I could draw a wiggly line on my Excel one. On my Word one, I could insert an online picture and use the same search tools that we've seen already in the rest of the application, be able to search office.com. So we could search for a tower. Insert and the image appears. Now we should be able to see all of those changes we've made on our machine. Now the quickest way to do that is to firstly sync. So if we go to File, Info, Settings, Sync, just to make sure that it is synced with the SkyDrive, and then have a look at the SkyDrive version. And there's the picture we've placed on there. And Excel had the squiggly line. Back at our PC version, by storing the OneNote notebook in the Sky, we have that option to then sync and then share. On the file menu, we can go to share and invite people to view our notebook in the sky. And we do that by selecting people that we know from our contact list. And you can see this option here for can edit or can view, effectively a link to a read-only copy or an editable copy of your own notebook. 
But this is OneNote 2013. Comes with that extra ability to save to the SkyDrive, along with all the functionality of being able to insert images, notes, drawings, documents from other parts of the office suite, as well as videos, pictures, pretty much anything can sit inside a OneNote notebook.